Hi, friends. Today we will learn about atoms, elements, molecules, and compounds. So let's start. We know matter is anything that has mass and volume. So everything all around us is matter. The air is also matter. The water is also matter. The clothes that you're wearing, your books, your bag, your home. You yourself are all made up of matter, but we see that there are different types of matter. Like air is different from water, water is different from soil, soil is different from your clothes. Your clothes are different from this plastic box. The plastic box is different from this glass, and so on and so forth. So there are different kinds of matter, and distinct types of matter only has one type of atom. These distinct types of matter are known as elements. For example, oxygen only has oxygen atoms. Nitrogen only has nitrogen atoms. Copper only has copper atoms. Gold only has gold atoms. So these are all different types of matter and different elements. All elements that have the same types of atoms. So we can say. The atom is the smallest unit of the element. Now, atoms consist of a nucleus, protons, and neutrons. But we will see the detailed structure of the atom in our next section. Today, we will learn about elements, molecules, and compounds. Now, let's focus on what is an element. There are 118 types of substances listed that cannot be further broken down into simpler substances, and they are all listed in a table known as the periodic table as 118 types of different elements. This is the periodic table, and all 118 types of elements are distinct types of matter. They are listed in this table. Every element has been given a symbol. Ca stands for calcium. Cu stands for copper. Ni stands for nickel. O stands for oxygen. Au stands for gold. Ar stands for argon, and so on and so forth. And every element has the same type of atoms only. For example, copper will only have copper atoms. Nickel will only have nickel atoms. Oxygen will only have oxygen atoms. So now we know what are elements. Now let's learn what are molecules. Let's take the example of oxygen. We learned that oxygen only has oxygen atoms. Now in the case of oxygen, oxygen exists as a molecule that has two oxygen atoms. Bonded together, as in oxygen is only oxygen atoms, but two atoms of oxygen are always bonded together, and this is why the formula of oxygen is O two, which means each molecule of oxygen has two atoms of oxygen in it, and these molecules cannot be further broken down by ordinary chemical means. Here we have another example of molecules. Water. Water is made up of two elements, oxygen and hydrogen. Where water is molecules of water only, and each molecule is denoted as H two O, which means each water molecule has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. You cannot further break down this molecule into atoms by ordinary chemical means. So water exists as molecules of water. Each molecule has two types of atoms: hydrogen and oxygen. Two types of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So is water an element? No. Water is not an element. Water is a type of matter that has two types of elements: hydrogen and oxygen, and they exist as molecules.
Each molecule has a composition H2O. So let's revise it all again. Everything all around us is made up of matter, and matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So water, air, oxygen, cotton, plastic, rubber, iron, steel, all of these are types of matter. And distinct types of matter are listed as 118 types of elements, and they are listed in the periodic table, and each element has a symbol. For example, hydrogen, oxygen, nickel, cadmium, silicon, helium. All these are a distinct type of matter, as in these elements have the same types of atoms. So the atom is the smallest unit of matter. An atom exists as a molecule, as in they exist as one or more atoms bonded together. For example, hydrogen. Hydrogen exists as molecules of hydrogen, where each molecule of hydrogen has two atoms of hydrogen bonded together. Another example is oxygen. Oxygen exists as molecules of oxygen, where each molecule of oxygen has two atoms of oxygen bonded together. So hydrogen and oxygen are elements because they have the same types of atoms, but some types of matter may not necessarily have the same atoms. For example, water is matter, but it is not an element as it has two types of atoms. Water has hydrogen, as well as oxygen, and molecules uh, It exists as H2O. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen is there in each molecule of water. So now we know water is not an element. Then what is it? It is a compound as in it exists of atoms of different elements in a fixed ratio. So we can say water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen. Now let's have more examples of compounds. Carbon dioxide, commonly known as CO2. So is carbon dioxide an element? No, it is not an element because it has two types of atoms, atoms of carbon and oxygen. So carbon dioxide is a compound, as in it's made up of two atoms of oxygen and one atom of carbon, as in all molecules of carbon dioxide have the chemical composition CO2, one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!